everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2, Episode 19. So last episode, we lost Nanami, which it was kind of a, a bittersweet moment. Obviously, we love Nanami. I actually have this figure right here, to be honest. But I don't know, We I thought we kind of lost him a few episodes ago. I will say having this little moment here, seeing him kind of go out a little bit more badass and just get burnt in like a quick second, I thought was really cool. There was that little closure-ish moment, like a passing of the baton with Itadori, which I appreciated. It was difficult to see him in that state, though. We also, I think last time, kind of misunderstood we about stupid, the actually. mojito. <laughs> yeah. we, th this is us sharing our brain cell 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 oh, I can't or even cell. Say it. I'll say it for you. You say brain, I say cell. Cell. Wait. What? <laughs> I, thought, I thought we were doing it at the same time. But I said you say brain, I say oh. cell. <laughs> when I was editing it, I actually did catch it like kind of second watch through, but in mm. the moment, I feel like it's because like you just had saw the anatomy thing, mm. and then like it, it kind of went back to almost like like a. Not like a gag, but like it kind of felt like like a gag because you know it was like the it silly. It all four. It was like the, silly, the guys, and then like yeah. Mahito like ran off, and he was like, Haha. and then like he did split, and like I caught it, but I guess in the moment I just like didn't yeah. put two and two together. Like that's what had actually been happening. Like I thought it was more like a little jokey segment. Mm -hmm. But so that means he's fighting Nobara right now in real time. Yeah, so she's not dead. Yes. Even though she could die. Just because I hope not. But it gives me hope. Because yeah. I was so last time I was like, oh I gosh, it up. this is in the past. She's gone. She's yeah. a goner. I thought the next scene that we were gonna open with was like him pulling out a little her transfigured self. Oh god. And that's honestly the, another reason why I was in this thought process in that moment was because I said in the last episode, Mahito, in my opinion, probably should have used Nanami for that. It, yeah. Just in a strategic standpoint, you're going to want to use that against him as opposed to just killing him. Now, mind you, it still did kind of, right, kind of amp him up a little bit to fight him. Yeah. But I mean, the same way he was using like the Junpei thing to fuck with him, I thought that's what he was going to do with Nanami. So in my head, I was like, okay, no, bro. That's, she's going to be pulled out as a little transfigured human. Bro, you just need to do everything in your power to just kill him. I know that you might have to go through some of these bodies, but he's just gonna keep killing more. He's just oh, he's too yeah. compassionate. I mean, he also just like, oh, he's going through such a bad day already. I know, but you need to like compartmentalize. That was a big hand. <laughs> oh shit! Go, Dobra, go! She's sniping him. I wish Sukuna would have killed his ass too. Oh! Oh, so he has different. So he, so can't, he can't do what. Yeah. But he can already do the ones that are already manipulated, yeah. but he can't turn them. It's interesting that when he split himself, his abilities split and they can't just do the same things, you know? He wanted to put the hammer down. Oh, <laughs> she just backhanded him. <laughs> go over, go. Is she actually gonna take him out? Wow. Oh, that hurt him. Perfect oh, timing. Yeah. All right, you, you have an opening. Oh, see, this is what Itadori needed. It was help. They're stronger together. She looks badass there. Okay. Okay, so she's together. yeah, she's understanding now. <laughs> clone. <laughs> I don't know if he's a clone so much as like just a fraction of himself. <laughs> It's only Come half on. the curse he once was. It's like my powers of half since we last <laughs> met. <laughs> Let's take out Mahito this episode. Oh my gosh. Oh, see, that's what I said. He needed somebody else. Oh, that was so sweet. 
gosh. This oh, kind of reminds yeah. me of when Gojo was fucking up the other guy. That just gave him some motivation. Yeah. Oh, God. He's gonna go merge back with yeah. himself. <gasps> what Whoa. the fuck? He split up even more! They look like little eggs. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> look at the hair! This looks like something out of Rick and Morty. <laughs> And it's like jump into I know. each other. But at least Nobra and Itadori will be together. Don't let them combine. They're gonna combine. Yeah. Gosh. Oh, they oh switched. no! Oh, oh no. no! No! They don't know. Yeah, okay. Oh no, not Nobra! I don't. And yeah, she's distracted. No. Oh my god! No! Oh my gosh. Ah! Wait, what happened? What happened? What was that? I think it's oh, oh, oh no. Oh no. What happened? What happened? 2009? This like Nova backstory? <laughs> yeah. Don't tell me this. Does this mean she died? Uh, oh, and she said die first. Oh, she was playing video games. Yeah. Oh, I hate when they give us backstory. Especially after a moment like that. I mean, this is just kind of like how oh, Nanami was going no. on the beach. Oh, oh. What? Those people. <laughs> That's so mean. Why would they do that? Poor thing. She rationalized it like, oh, they just hate blue, but it was like, because they, they were picking, picking on her. her. So mm. she's always been there to help others. Mm. <laughs> she's gonna go kick their ass? <laughs> <laughs> you go, Nobara, you go. <laughs> she's always getting into trouble. <laughs> had a little attitude. Oh, Aww, that was really nice. <laughs> you hate all backpacks? Is this that same girl that was in the previous like little backstory of Nobra? I thought that was an older girl. Wait, is this? This is oh, the that's one. The, okay. Yeah. I was like, I knew there was some other like influence. Yeah, that's who it was. Oh, because another side of her. She took on her personality traits. Oh, when she moved right back to Tokyo? Mm. No, didn't they like kind of run her out or something? Like something happened to her. I feel like I sound like an idiot. I'm sorry, y'all. Yeah, okay. Okay. Well, right. It's interesting that we're getting this backstory from her perspective, though. Mm. Oh, well, she really looked up to her. <laughs> I wonder what happened to Fumi then. I mean, this wasn't that long ago. Aww. Don't make that be like a death thing. Oh, gosh. Aww. Oh, she is gonna cry for you too! She just try to hold it in. Oh, <laughs> this is like so emotional. I'm just like so nervous to go back to the present. Can we stay in the past? I know. I wanna live in the past. <laughs> this her now, maybe? <gasps> oh, I was like, did she feel what Nobra felt? Oh, oh no, it's like current. Did she feel it? She was only in middle school. I thought she was like an adult. It's like her perspective of the events in front of Nobra. It was mm. like life changing. Yeah. That's interesting to see it from like the other side, you know? Fight it. I don't know if you can. This episode's about to end too, so like, give us closure. 
自分以外のすべてに思えてああ、oh oh, oh, ごめんねふみ Oh my gosh. Oh no! That they would see each other again, like all three of them. Oh my god, no! Itadori, Minna needs to die. Oh! Waruk Nakata. Oh my gosh! Was that it? Like she died? Uh, that was Is that what that means? I, I, like. I don't know. We haven't seen the face fully! Yeah. It just didn't seem as drastic. <gasps> I'm reserving. Oh okay. my gosh. We immediately jumped to conclusions with Nanami, uh, Maki, and uh, Granzetti Zenin. So I'm gonna reserve like my grief for her until we see at least her face. Because I don't, it just seemed a lot less. Like when he fucking did that to Nanami. He like he exploded. exploded. Yeah, and I just feel like maybe because I'm, maybe I'm holding out hope. But what um, Mahito said about like the seven three curse user or something like that, it might have taken more than one touch. So you know mm -hmm. to kill them. So we'll see what ends up happening in this next episode. But maybe he just like really gravely injured her. Maybe or something. I don't know. I but, mean, but then like. But he like went up to her and went like that. Like, yeah. why wouldn't he have done more? Well, I think because they were just like running in the moment. Because they were like kind of like, you know, that's all he a weird do. like chase yeah. between the two mojitos and oh, Nobura and I just Dorian. feel like they didn't show the face for a reason. Maybe yeah. uh, unless we're just like being too hopeful. But even if we are, we'll b probably find out next episode. But yeah. Well, I don't know. Uh, like even with um, with Nanami, we had to wait a couple episodes before oh, seeing yeah, his. Yeah, that is true. You know, two faced looking self walk know. up. I don't on know us. how to like. I feel like. I don't am inclined to believe maybe she's not dead, but I also don't want to be like, like misread it and be like, oh. Well, this episode definitely felt like a goodbye in a sense. You I know? was like so sad, like seeing her backstory, yeah. and then also the whole thing with the like the friend who yeah. I thought we'll she was call like, her like her big sister. Yeah, bigger. I thought she was like an adult actually, but you know she was like seven years older than her. She was in middle school. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. Like, I mean, but maybe also from Nober's perspective, you know, you see like the bigger kid is yeah, like yeah. older than they actually were. But to see it from, I think her name was Sari, uh, mm. to like how she viewed her, like, oh, just this little kid and she was cute and I would give him tea. Like, yeah. it wasn't really as big of a thing, but for Nobra's perspective, it was like she was so influenced by this older girl. And like, that's, that's really kind of crazy, like how they mm. did that in terms of storytelling. It's cool, though, because it's yeah. like there's two sides to every story. Yeah, I, I enjoyed it. As we were going down the path, though, it just kind of felt like we were leading up to the point of just seeing her freaking explode when we get back to the present, which we saw a little bit of that, like I said, but I'm, I'm putting it at like 50-50 right now. I don't yeah. think that it's, I, I don't feel as definitive about this as how I did when I saw like um, Nanami and uh, yeah. Maki get just scorched earth. Like they got freaking incinerated. And Nanami was still able to come back from that. Yeah. So we'll see what ends up happening here. Um, I will say though, if she is dead and it happened right in front of Itadori after oh maybe five God. minutes ago seeing Nanami die in front of That's him. Really and then five really minutes before that, he came to the conclusion that he, not he, but Sukuna through him killed, I don't know how many freaking people here in Shibuya. This dude's got a tragic ass fucking life. <laughs> like for Itadori. Damn. Even if she doesn't die, I feel like it's still gonna affect him because Nobra kind of gave him hope in this situation too because he saw her nails or he like he knew she, Mahito, he knew yeah. she was fighting and like basically supporting him even from a distance and like it made him feel he like needed he, that. he wasn't alone in this and like he like okay you have help and you have your friends around mm. you know in a small way and then it's just like you know for her to just get taken out in front of him that's it's sad and it's like it's so sad what he's going through right mm. now too and then it's just like that little brief glimmer of hope and like oh i can do this like you know i can push through yeah now she just like potentially may have died in front of him we don't have that many episodes left yeah. but this arc has just been insane this entire season has been so good honestly like the the lulls that i would say 
or maybe the first episode of the first arc and maybe the first episode of this first arc. And I think you could chalk that up to just kind of setting like the premise of where yeah. we're at and stuff. I don't even think they were like bad though. No, I don't think they yeah. were bad, but they I were just kind of like, not yeah. like how they've been, yeah. you know? Like the first episode- has been a bad episode, I don't think. There hasn't. Yeah. The first episode, I can remember we actually enjoyed it because it was like the little yeah. skit with the mm -hmm. movie that he wanted yeah. to watch. And he was like, oh, this feels like season yeah. one. And <laughs> it's not felt like season <laughs> one at all since then. It's just been nothing but death and despair. Crazy. Um, and then the first arc, the little five, six episode arc with Gojo and Ghetto and int our introduction to Toji, um, you know, we saw him younger. And at first I was kind of like, okay, we're going back into the past. And what are we really doing here too? Because I did want to get to the present. And obviously I didn't know we were going to go through this much freaking tragic story in the, the present time. Um, it seemed like the most happy moments were in the past. Wow. Um, but honestly, seeing that relationship between Gojo and Ghetto and the way they did it, introducing us to him as a villain as like a curse and we're like okay well, is he dead because we saw him at the end of Jujutsu Kaisen Zero and they obviously had more of a connection there and then seeing it play out at the beginning of this season it's interesting and at first I didn't necessarily know if I liked it because I was like okay why can't we just be linear you know like I just want to see it from beginning to end but I've actually kind of got, grown to appreciate how they did it yeah. because especially like with Ghetto and Gojo seeing like how much they cared about each other in the arc right before Ghetto, yeah. you, the, the curse inhabiting yeah. Ghetto's body, used that to get Gojo to stop in his tracks to seal him, um, was I think a very impactful moment. So I honestly think this is like really good storytelling. And yeah. I feel like for um, manga and anime, the amount of like action packedness that they in putting into these these episodes and you know this this manga is just. I feel like gonna make other mangas and anime kind of like have to live up to it because this is a yeah. lot to, it's setting to a pack it, to mm -hmm. pack in. If you look at those older animes that had like we'll call it filler, I know a lot of it was because they were like waiting for the manga to be written, so they would go on little side quests yeah. and journeys, maybe follow characters that weren't that important. But uh, I don't say what that important. I'm not specifically saying an anime, so you can't say that I'm talking shit about a particular anime. But anyway, when you go on those little side quests, you're just like, okay, let's advance the story. This has been nonstop, yeah. and I love it. Yeah, and it's like it's nonstop, and like not even just like in terms of action, because I know some people are like, oh, you just like only want to see action, mm -hmm. like not like to us specifically, but just in general, like people are like, oh, you know, like y'all only want to ever see action and stuff. But I feel like it's. It's not just about the action, it's just like yeah. every episode has like a really, a, like a purpose mm -hmm. and like it's progressing the story and it's just done such a, at such a good pace and I just think it's, it's so good and like I, I, like I said, I feel like they are setting a standard, mm -hmm. you know. I will say one of the, my favorite parts of this particular arc that isn't really a, like action, there was a fight going around it, but I mean this whole damn arc has been a fight. Uh, was the moment between Megami and Toji. And yeah. that was just an emotional yeah. moment between father and son, at least from yeah. Toji's perspective. Obviously, Megami didn't know who he was talking to, but that was just like so crazy. I think about that moment a lot. When he like came to the realization that yeah. he was in front of his son, and then he got the name, he's like, I'm glad. Yeah. Offed himself. Yeah. <sighs> I love this It's show. like he, he couldn't, uh, not to go back to that, but yeah. like he couldn't really ever be like a father like how he should have been I guess like mm -hmm. he never was but in that moment he like be was the best father he could be as the person he was mm -hmm. if that makes sense and that was my favorite yeah. uh, honestly one yeah. of my favorite moments of this entire yeah. arc too so and this arc has had some crazy moments um, but yeah, I'm just really excited to see how it's all gonna wrap up. I don't think that it's probably gonna slow down because typically in even the slower arcs of animes, you're usually building something yeah. towards the end. So if we are building to something, like what else can we do I at know. this point? Yeah. I can't even imagine. All right, well thank y'all so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.